So in this video we're going to be making ourselves a little Python program where we create ourselves a Mad Lib. Now, if you don't know what a Mad Lib is, basically it's a sentence or a paragraph that has blanks in it. Okay, and you prompt the user to fill in those blanks with certain words. So what we've got is a little program that asks for three words. And it's going to take those three words and put them into a sentence. Okay, so what the first question asks is enter an adjective. Okay, now if I think, oh, I think my English skills are alright, and an adjective is a describing word. So you've got to think of a word that describes something. Okay, so I might write smart. Okay. Next thing it asks for is a noun. So we need to enter a noun into the program. So a noun is the name of something, um, a person, place, or thing. So I might write teacher. Smart and teacher seem to go hand in hand. Um, and finally, we've got a question saying enter a verb. So a verb is a doing word, so you've got to think of some sort of action. So I might write leaped. And when I press enter, my Mad Lib is going to appear. Okay, so the printout says your Mad Lib, and it takes those three words that I just typed in and it puts it into a sentence. So it says the smart teacher leaped over the lazy brown dog. Okay, and that's basically a Mad Lib, taking words and filling in the blanks. Okay, and we're going to make a little game out of that using our Python programming knowledge. We're not learning anything new from the previous tutorial. It's basically asking for an input and letting Python produce an output. Okay, so we can all start together. I'm just going to close off Python and reopen it from scratch. Remember, when you are opening Python, you want the IDLE opened up. Okay, the IDLE is basically the Python shell where we can type our code into. So I'm going to get a file and new like always. And the first thing we're going to do is ask for a few inputs or ask a few questions. Now the first thing I want to ask for is an adjective. So I'm going to create a variable called adjective. I'm going to write adjective equals and then I'm going to ask the question. So input in brackets and quotation marks. I'm going to write enter an adjective. Close the quotation marks, close the brackets. Okay, and whatever answer the user writes in will become that variable. So adjective will equal whatever our user types in. Okay, I might put a colon after the word adjective as well and put a space so that'll just show that they've got a write in next to the question there. Okay, the next thing we're going to put in is the noun. So we're going to write it the same way, just changing the variable name. So now we're going to write noun equals, write input, so we ask a question. And inside brackets, in quotation marks, enter a noun. Put a colon, space, close the quotation marks and close the bracket. Okay. So whatever answer they put in there for their noun will become the value of the noun variable. Okay, and finally we ask for a verb. So verb equals ask the question by writing input and in quotation marks inside brackets enter a verb. Do a colon, put a space, close your quotation marks and close your brackets just to finish that section off. So we've now got our program asking three questions and it allows our user to answer it. Okay. After that we want to print the result. So we want to print the result of the Mad Lib. So the first line that we want to print or basically display back to the user is a little heading that says your Mad Lib. Okay, don't forget to close your quotation marks and brackets. That's pretty straightforward. Might even do that in capitals so it actually stands out. So your Mad Lib. There we go. On the next line, we're going to do one more um, printout. So let's write print again. Open up our brackets and quotation marks. And this is where we create the Mad Lib. So we're going to write the, and then close the quotation marks and do a comma. After word the, we want the adjective to appear. So we write the word adjective, then we do a comma, put in the noun, put in a comma, and put in the verb. So whatever the user has written up here for the adjective, noun, and verb is going to appear in our sentence straight after the word the. Once we hear the adjective, noun, and verb appear in our sentence, we open up our quotation marks again, and we write over the lazy, whoop, lazy brown dog. Full stop, close the quotation marks, close the bracket. That's our program written. Okay, so you can see in this last line, Python is going to 
display the comes up with the three words the user types in over the lazy brown dog okay so let's save that and test it just go to file and save and you want to put that into your Python projects folder I'm just going to call it Madlib and save it and then press F5 to run the program it will open up your Python shell and here we go it says enter an adjective so let's write in something that describes somebody so let's write oh, we've already used the word lazy maybe the board noun so let's write um, what can we have policeman and the verb um, let's write backflipped okay so we've got our three words they're now going to be put into our Madlib okay so it prints the heading first your Madlib then it puts those three words into our sentence so the board policeman backflipped over the lazy brown dog okay pretty straightforward okay so once you've got that code looking good everything's working make sure it's all saved in your account and you are finished this tutorial